attracted to you? Sorry. Liar. Oh, what did you call me? I called you a liar. We both know you wanted me from the day we met. All right, now I agree with you. You've fallen off the deep end. You, you stare at me. You, you watch my mouth and I say, you can we kiss a lot? You kind of let your nose linger in my hair a little bit longer than necessary and you breathe in. All right, I can't talk about this anymore, okay? Let me just get my work. I think you should go see that. Maybe a psychiatrist, too. You're angry. I'm not angry. Just flabbergasted. I mean, after all these years of what I thought was a close friendship, I mean, out of nowhere, you just think that. I mean, I married Lynette. I know. And I love George. And not to mention, I'm 100% heterosexual. I'm, uh, I just am going out of my mind. I'm sorry. I wish I could help you. You love me. Of course I do. But that doesn't mean that I want you sexually. What about New Year's Eve? What about it? New Year's Eve, 1991. The four of us spent it together. I drank way too many peach margaritas. I remember. Richard ended up having to carry me in the bathroom because I got sick. We were pretty sick. And Richard was pretty pissed up. <laughs> yeah, I know. I thought I would never stop throwing up. And... Uh, when I finally did, I just kind of lay down on the bathroom floor, close my eyes, and you kissed me on the mouth. I did not. <laughs> you did for a good long time. Lynette, you must have dreamt it, because I think I would remember. You know, I remember thinking how soft your mouth was, and then you held on to my lower lip for an extra second, and then you let go and the air just hissed out of me like a balloon. Lynette, I did not kiss you. Maybe a peck on the cheek because I felt sorry for your drunk ass. <laughs> I felt your tongue. That's inappropriate and you know it. <laughs> Why are you so against this? You know, I mean, you have me, I have my fling, everybody wins. Except for Richard and George. We don't, we don't tell them. This is a secret between friends. Completely liable. It's not that simple. Why not? Look, Lynette. Do you want me to introduce you to some friends? I know some awesome lesbians and they totally get out of this. I no, I want you! <laughs> no, you don't! Yes, I do! I mean, we're friends. I can trust you. I mean, there's no danger in falling in love. I mean, I was, I was gonna say that you're honest, but you can't even admit to kissing me. Oh, no, I not kissed you, but I was drunk too. Okay? You were stone cold sober. The antibiotics, remember? All right. But you just, you looked so pretty there. Your, your hair was spread out over the mat. I mean, you look vulnerable and beautiful and sleep with me, Gail. I can't.
No, I just, I, I just thought, what? That my heart couldn't possibly jump every time I see you? That I don't get profoundly jealous every time you and Richard sickly reach for each other like a sick, happy married couple? That I don't get jealous? That I don't feel real feelings? I mean, what, what, Lynette, what did you think? No, I, I just thought it was like a harmless crush, like schoolgirls.